Tala, salita. Tala, salita. Talata at salita. Pag-asang hatid ng mabuting balita. Tala, salita. Isang mapagpalang araw sa iyo kaagapay, nawa ay nasa maayos kang kalagayan sa mga oras na ito. Ako ang iyong kasama, Ronel Rubrica ng Kamuning Bible Christian Fellowship para sa programang Talasalita, Talata at Salita mula sa inspirasyong hatid ng kaliwanagan sa Biblia. Tuwing linggo, tayo po ay magkakasama-sama sa loob ng 30 minutes dito lamang sa 702 DJS FEBC Radio TV. Paul Harvey, a former well-known American broadcaster, one time told the story of a woman who called up the Butterball Turkey Company's consumer hotline and asked kung okay pa bang lutuin ang turkey that had been in her freezer for 23 years. The customer service representative told her that it would be okay to eat if the freezer had maintained below zero temperature the entire time. Pero dahil sa katagalan, the flavor would have deteriorated so much it wouldn't taste very good. Then the caller said, Oh, that's what we thought. We will just donate it to the church. Maaring hindi na gets ng iba ang ibig sabihin ng kwentong ito. Granted, it is a lesson centered in the traditions of ancient Israel that brought sacrifices to the temple. Pero napakaliwanag, if we are going to bring something to God, bring your best. Lambs without blemish, choice flower, the best of what you have. Does excellence matter to God? Does God care about quality? Is He concerned with how well things are done? God wants our best sa alinmang bagay. Excellence in God's sight isn't being the best, it's being your best. Philippians 4.8 says, If anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about such things. We believe that God cares about excellence. Naniniwala tayo that God deserves the very best we can offer. And we believe that He desires our best. The best of our time, abilities, energy and strength, creativity, our best thinking and caring, our best efforts. We should strive for excellence because God is worth it. He deserves our best. Marapat lang na ang best efforts natin ang matanggap ng Diyos. He is worthy of excellence. God desires and deserves the best of what we have to offer, our best efforts. Allow me to read our passage this morning which is found in Numbers 28 verses 26 to 31. On the day of the first fruits, when you offer a grain offering of new grain to the Lord at your feast of weeks, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work, but offer a burnt offering with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Two bulls from the herd, one ram, seven male lambs a year old, also their grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil. Three-tenths of an ephah for each bull, two-tenths of one ram, a tenth for each one of the seven lambs with one male goat to make atonement for you. Besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering, you shall offer them and their drink offering. See that they are without blemish. The last two or three years have seen an emphasis in church life across the denominations on quality. Marami sa mga ito ay tulad rin sa mga produkto o services where we learn important lessons. Think for instance about companies that mean quality for you quality of product or of service. You turn to them dahil may reputation sila for delivering quality. The church has been pursuing what it calls the quest for quality. Taking that lead from the business world, the quest for quality folk define quality for us. Quality is excellence in service or product that consistently meets the needs of its customers. 
Further, quality is provided by a system that is capable of continuous improvement. So the question is raised, nakikita ba sa iglesia ang ganitong klase ng quality? After all, we have said that as a church, we are in the business of making disciples of Jesus Christ. That's our mission, our purpose, why we are here. Tinawag tayo ng Diyos para sa ganyang gawain. Our faithfulness to the call will be reflected in what we bring to the task. One of the core values that we can consider is that we honor God when we do our best. We honor God kapag makikita sa mga ginagawa natin ang best natin. Ezra Earl Jones, one of the leaders of a certain denomination who has led the quest for quality movement, wrote this, Quality improvement in the church is our human effort to be faithful to what God is doing in the world and in us. It is striving to respond with our best. It is sharing God's wonderful acts with others. It is seeking to be more caring and loving and to create more just relationships among people. It is creating the best possible context for people to be received in the Christian community, related to God nurtured, and sent out to serve. Quality improvement is the disciples' attempt to be faithful in building vital congregations. This core value invites each of us to honor God by striving to respond with our best as disciples of Jesus. What does that mean? For example, sa isang Sunday school teacher, Sasabihin ng mga bata sa magulang nila that they really want to attend Sunday school again and that they can share some new insights about God's love that they learned that day. Or for a choir, is it not when all the parts have come together and you and I are lifted to God as we hear their music? Or for a greeter or an usher, kapag naramdaman ng mga first-timers na talagang nawe-welcome sila at masaya sila sa pagtanggap ng mga ito? Or for some who walks with a person in grief and pain, pwede niyang maramdaman na dahil may nakinig, dumamay, at nakasama sa journey, I feel better. To be fit for the 21st century, we need to pay attention to the quality of what we do. Ang iglesia ng ating Panginoong Jesus ay hindi tambakan ng mga tira-tira. It's not a place to do minimum requirement o yung pwede na. It is surely not the place for mediocrity. From the ancient days of Israel comes our lesson. They brought their best. From the modern lessons of business comes the word, pay attention to quality if you want to attract and reach people for Christ. If we want to make disciples of Jesus and reach generations that have come to expect quality in return for their commitment of time and energy, then we need to listen. Ito yung sinasabi ni Paul nang isulat niya sa Philippians, Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence or if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. A follower of Christ should pursue excellence in every area of life because everything you do is done to honor and serve God. God expects excellence in our ministry. God expects excellence in our worship. God expects excellence in every area, sa lahat ng bahagi at aspeto ng ating buhay. Striving for excellence simply means making every effort in preparation and execution to do the very best you can. He would lift our focus and raise the standard. Kung tayo ay nakikinig sa Kanya at isa sa puso ang mga salita niya, we will be uncomfortable to offer anything less than our best to the work of God. We will let this core value continually challenge us to do better in the work of making disciples of Jesus Christ. Tanungin natin ang ating sarili, how we can make this core value work in the church? How can we grow in doing our best? I will suggest four things we can do. First is, isaisip ang mga bagay na ito. That is, a mindset of excellence. Huwag tayong makontento with mediocrity or pwede na when we can do better. Of course, we will fail. Of course, 
we will fall short. But our God is a forgiving God. We will have the opportunity to move beyond our failures. We can be content with less than our best. Let's have a mindset of excellence. Second, let's try to be in the right place of service. One reason we fall short and do not do our best is that we are in the wrong place to serve effectively. We try to do what we are not suited to do, not gifted to do. Tulad ng pagiging Sunday school teacher na ayaw sa bata, trying to teach third graders dahil lang napilitan siya, at somebody made him feel guilty, so he signed up. But it is the wrong place, and it won't become the right place. It will not honor God, but will only bring frustration for teacher and children alike. Some of you have already experienced shape, discovering your right place for service. It is aimed at helping us know how God has gifted us para naman we can bring our best and be fulfilled in what we offer to God. Third, we bring our best when we meet our commitments. I'm talking about practical, basic, and down-to-earth things like being on time. Ibig sabihin, we prepare for our various ministries in the church by taking advantage of training opportunities, by planning ahead, by investing the necessary time to do what needs to be done, by working together as a team. I get really excited kapag nakikita ko ang isang team working together, bringing their gifts of creativity, leadership, and energy together to create a ministry. They have a vision of the difference they want to make and ministry happens. We can fail at this level and we still do our best. Fourth, we need to remember our mission, vision, and values. What we do needs to connect with our mission. Kung walang koneksyon ang ginagawa natin to making disciples of Jesus Christ, we should examine what we are doing in the church. Kasi yun ang ating purpose and calling. We honor God by doing the best we can to help those we touch grow as disciples. Today, we need to recapture the authenticity of our call to proclaim the gospel of Christ, to make disciples of Jesus. Dito nakasalalay ang hinaharap sa panahon when so many foundations have crumbled. There we bring less than our best to be in the church of Jesus Christ. God has called us. We have a mission. We have defined it. It is our business as God's people. And to do that, we bring our gifts, ourselves, our passion, our competence, our best efforts. At gagamitin ng Diyos ang ating mga alay. God will multiply what we bring. We will make disciples of Jesus Christ. Bakit nga ba kailangan to give God our best? Because God gave us His best. Romans 8.32 says, He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also will him graciously give us all things? When God sent Jesus to the earth, God did not send his second best. God sent his very best. God gave the best he had, his own son, Jesus Christ, to suffer and die in our place para marinate tayo sa kanya. Jesus Christ gave His best for us, His own life, para sa kapatawaran ng mga kasalanan natin at pagkakaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. Nothing we can ever give Him could compare with those gifts, but He deserves no less than the best we have to give. This scripture teaches us that excellence is something that honors God. Colossians 3.23 Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. Ecclesiastes 9.10 Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. One church has a slogan that I think sums up this thought. If it bears His name, it deserves our best. If it bears His name, it deserves our best. Striving for excellence simply means making every effort in preparation and execution to do the very best we can. Tigilan na natin ang pagbibigay sa Diyos ng ating mga last-minute, half-hearted, leftover, and warm-up efforts. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15 says, Do your best to present yourself to God 
as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed. God expects and deserves nothing less than our best. Dakila naming Dios at aming amang nasa langit, tunay nga pong you deserve the very best we can offer. At naniniwala po kami na you desire our best, the best of our time, our abilities, strength, creativity, ang aming best efforts. You deserve our best, aming Panginoon. Maraming salamat po, Panginoong Yesus, dahil you gave your best for us, your own life, para sa kapatawaran ng aming mga kasalanan at pagkakaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. Nothing we can ever give you could compare with those gifts, but you deserve no less than the best we have to give. Marapat lang po ng aming best efforts ang matanggap po ninyo. You are worthy of excellence. Dalangin nga po namin, Panginoon, na nawa ay lagi po ninyo kaming masumpungan na binibigay po namin ang aming best sa lahat ng aming ginagawa para po sa inyong karangalan at kalwalatian. Ito ang aming samo at dalangin sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Hesus. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsama sa akin sa araw na ito. Ako po ang inyong kaagapay, Ronel Rubrica ng Kamuning Bible Christian Fellowship. Samahan niyo po ako muli sa susunod na episode ng programang Tala Salita, dito lamang sa 702 DZAS. Tala Salita Talata at Salita Pag-asang hatid ng mabuting balita Tala Salita